Go ahead. Do it again, Eleanor. Do it again. She was basically, like, lap dancing the stool a minute ago, but now she's just laying there. <laughs> she was going crazy, and now she's literally, like, melting. Huh. All right. Well, you're still cute. Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It's October 19th. It is 1.36 in the afternoon. And I'm speed. Well, I'm not speeding. I'm heading towards um, Costco. I don't know what's going on except for... Well, there is a fair amount of construction. Uh, traffic is very congested. You know when you're in the wrong lane? <laughs> and they're going to be, you know... Um, moving you over there, reducing the number of lanes, and you're in the wrong lane, and, and you know it. I was in that wrong lane for quite a while, but I'm moving now. Um, let's see, yesterday I volunteered for Habitat for Humanity. I really enjoyed myself, although it did take quite a lot out of me. Uh, using a hammer and a nail gun and lifting plywood and stuff like that was a, it was a good amount of work, um, but uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, afterwards, I just had some lunch. I just hung out around the cats, uh, took a nap, and I woke up. And of course, you know, having napped too much, so I was up till about two o'clock in the morning playing Starfield. Uh, Buddy has my cat. Buddy has a tone when he's yelling at me. He has a very particular meow that is mad and angry, and and he's had enough. He wants to go to bed. Because uh, we have to cuddle for like a few minutes before we can go to sleep. So he gets very upset when I don't go to bed <laughs> early enough. But um, so he yelled at me. So I went to bed. I wish I would catch it on film sometimes because the sound is very different. He, he's mad. Uh, but uh, I uh, woke up this morning, gave them treats, <clears throat> hung out around the house, um, watched some videos on my YouTube video, uh, you know, YouTube on my phone. Didn't even get out of bed. Um, didn't turn my computer on, which is weird because usually by now I'm playing Starfield. I do have to bid for vacation for next year. Very much like bidding for uh, schedules each month. We bid for vacation. Uh, so they'll break up um, all of the weeks of the year. They'll assign a number next to each of the weeks. That's the number of people in base that can take vacation during that week. And uh, so you bid for weeks of vacation. I get two weeks of regular vacation and I can assign a third week to uh, an assigned vacation week or I can keep it for float. Uh, and float vacation is very nice. If you see a trip coming up uh, that you really don't wanna work on because of the crew or the location or the hotel or whatever, you can just apply float vacation to that trip and get paid for those credit hours. You don't get per diem, but you you know you get credit for those hours. I get 28 hours. So there's other way other ways to use float too. You know, if you have a something coming up that's unexpected, you could use your float vacation. Uh, we get 28 hours of float vacation for that week, uh, four hours a day, depending on how you apply it. So. Yeah, so um, I get four more hours that will roll over from this year to next year. So I'll have 32 hours of float next year. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to bid for that later on today. I don't know if I can show it to you easily on my computer, but if I can, I will. Um, and um, what else? I think it's going to Costco. There's some things I'm out of that I use regularly enough. One of them, oddly enough, being water crackers. I think it's walkers, water crackers, those big round crackers. I use those quite often with cheese uh, on layovers um, or just peanut butter, scooping it up. And I use those a lot. But I need like toothpaste and pasta sauce and peanut butter and all sorts of stuff I buy in bulk at Costco. Um, I'm only at Costco like twice a year. I honestly don't know why I have uh, I, I sub keep a subscription, but whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Me riding around in my car again talking. Something I should I should mention. Somebody made a comment recently uh, saying that I'm endangering the public by 
talking while I drive because I shouldn't be looking at my camera. I'm not looking at my camera. My glasses might make it look like I'm looking over the camera because uh, it is on my uh, dashboard right behind my uh, steering wheel. The only time I will glance at my phone is at a stoplight or if I, you know, glance down, dip my, my uh, eyes down. But uh, I, my eyes linger on the radio or the, the CD player, uh, the uh, speedometer or the mirror 50 times longer than I would have ever looked at my phone. Um, I'm 52 years old and know uh, how to drive responsibly. So no worries. I'm not out there endangering the public by talking uh, while I drive. Unless you think talking while you're driving is dangerous. Uh, if that's the case, then I imagine you must be a terribly exciting passenger or cohort when traveling. I'm getting fresh now, so I'm going to stop. So uh, I will see. I'm going to stop right now so I can look at you. There we go. Um, all right. I will see you guys later on. Maybe I'll show you what I get at Costco. I don't know how exciting that'll be. Look, six minutes of me just talking. Aren't you excited? <laughs> I'll see you soon. Look what I found. Ha ha ha! I found a parking spot with shade. This is like winning a lottery ticket in Las Vegas. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, I have no idea how I ended up spending $120 on this. <laughs> oh, whatever. But um, I got these uh, Premier Protein Shakes. Uh, they are fantastic little caffeinated but they're perfect for those early morning shows when you don't have time for breakfast so i always have a, a couple of those in my lunch bag some uh purified water now i hate seeing bottled water because you know the environment and we could recycle better and but sometimes it's just super handy to have a bottle uh in hand and also i like to freeze them sometimes and keep them in my lunch bag they keep my stuff cold and i get to drink the water later so don't judge too harshly i know i know um these i buy these every time i'm here these cars water crackers they are fantastic there's six packages it was like 12 bucks and um, they're super sturdy they can hold up to being carted around for four days in a lunch bag I got some Cholula, two huge bottles for 10 bucks. Um, since Sriracha is still hard to come by, Cholula is my next best. Uh, mayonnaise, I don't use a lot of mayonnaise, but this chicken breast from Costco is fantastic. A little mayonnaise in there, and it's a fantastic sandwich. Toblerone, there were six bars in there. It was either buy an apple pie the size of my torso, or chocolate. I went with chocolate. Uh, the brown rice, little pre-cooked bowls. They are super handy and uh, they go great in my lunch bag. I got some pomegranate juice. I always buy uh, pomegranate juice when I'm at Costco. And if you watched my video recently where I talked about what's in my roller board, I needed to buy a new extension cord uh, that has something where I can use my laptop. And so these are, there are two of them. I'll take this one with me to, uh, to work and this one I'll use at home by my desk. And that's what I bought. It was 120 bucks, including tax. I also got this Costco travel pa uh, pamphlet. I don't know, just in case I, I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to actually do a real vacation one day. I'll, I'll look at that. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. I was just generous in letting one person over in front of me and then a second person slipped in and right, right behind him. I am shocked. It was rude. Um, hey, how are you? So it is uh, 4.20 in the afternoon and this was a mistake. Going to Costco today was a mistake. Um, I spent the entire afternoon at Costco touching things, putting it in the cart, then I realized that um, it looked like I was shopping for a college dorm. Where is that? Okay. Uh, I was. It looks like I was shopping for 15 people. Uh, so I ended up putting almost everything back on the shelf. Uh, I still ended up spending $120 though. Um, and then of course I, I'm heading home and I realized it is smack dab in rush hour. So we're driving about eight miles an hour. <laughs> 
Uh, um, but while I was in the car on my phone just before I left the Costco parking lot, oh, some shade, um, I was uh, looking at a Facebook memory that popped up, and there are pictures of Buddy from four years ago when he used to be an indoor outdoor cat and uh, there are some photos I cannot resist sharing with you so you have to see these he is the most handsome cat oh he's so handsome and he was so happy outside he gets very bored in the house he really does get very bored but he's bored and alive which is definitely saying something because Las Vegas is not kind to outdoor cats and I, I just don't it's not it's not appropriate to have an outdoor cat and live in the desert it just isn't but look at these pictures of my cat he is so handsome isn't he the most handsome cat ever oh, God, I love him all right I'm off to Target Let's go. Israel and Palestinian Ooh. people in the Arab. Hey guys, hi. Just uh, driving around, listening to President Biden uh, talk about uh, he's he's asking the American people to continue helping Ukraine, help Israel, Palestine as well, because they're not like the bad guys, you know. Um, and uh, but it's a it's a big call. It's a big request to keep keep funding these these uh, other people, allies, uh, but when we ourselves need to support our own citizens. It's such a, such a difficult thing. I could never be a president. Do you remember back when, um, what's her name, Palin, Sarah Palin, when she was uh, running for office? She's like, you know, I'm one of you. You want people like, people like you and me in office. No. No, I don't. Uh, I want someone who is a hell of a lot smarter and able to think about the bigger picture more than people like me or Ms. Palin, you know? Um, all right, so I am at Target. How's that for a little uh, little uh, pause in my stupid day of shopping? Um, I have to stop into Target to buy some ant bait. Uh, I have ants. I also have a plane overhead. So, I have ants. Every uh, every time it starts to cool off at night, I think ants start foraging and looking for, for things, and they're finding it in my house. Uh, and so, every six months or so, I have ants. And uh, I bought some Raid uh, ant bait, whatever it is, and it did not work at all. The ants aren't even remotely interested, so I'm going to try and see if I can find some Toro, T-O-R-O, -O, I think it's called, uh, ant bait. That stuff is amazing. Uh, and uh, so that's what I'm going to try and find here at Target. Ooh, there's no baskets. All right. It's called Taro, T-E-R-R-O. I bought these useless. This stuff is like magic death for ants. Very happy. I popped over into the Halloween section. <gasps> Look at that. I'm not buying it. I'm not. I'm walking away from that cat. Oh, I want it so bad. Um, I was going to buy some, something silly just to wear on my head or something for Halloween. Because I'm working uh, Halloween. I think I'm going to Baltimore, I think. Um, if, could I find a raven or something? That would be appropriate. Um, but... Uh, can't find anything. I was just thinking as I'm looking around, I'm like, next time I get new teeth, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to file them into like shark teeth or something. <laughs> I'm going to file, file them into like some scary shape. Wouldn't that be funny? Although I should probably keep them as a backup or something. But yeah, that's... I'm crazy. Uh, oh, it's all pet costumes. I guess there's nothing here for me. Let's get back to the car, otherwise I'm going to start buying stuff I don't need. So I've been home for a little while. The cats got their treats and some belly rubs. I got my snack. The ants got their snacks and their treats. 
No belly rubs for the ants. They're going to be dead soon anyway. But um, So I decided it's time to bid for next year's vacation, at least to submit a bid. I can always fine tune it later, but I don't want to forget to bid for vacation. Otherwise I get whatever's left over and that's not good. So I'm going over to flicka.net. If you work for my company, you'll know what website that is. I'm going to scroll down past open time. I made my cursor as dark and large as I could. So hopefully you can see it, but on the, um, let's see if I can do that. Yeah. Um, so I am going to scroll down. This is a vacation bid for uh, this year. I'm going to scroll down voluntary leave. They're offering voluntary time off in December, which is kind of a shock to me. And then this next bit here, right here, if you can see the cursor, says FA flight attendant 2024 vacation bid. Now there's a bi uh, bid sheet here, my vacation. I'm going to go down and click on submit bids, which is right there. What I'm going to see is on the left hand side, which I'm not going to show you, uh, is all of our, the name, a list of all the flood attendants that work at my base in order of seniority, the top to the bottom. Uh, and at the top, uh, on the left hand side, there's my name, my employee number. I am number 310 out of 1,084 flood attendants in base. Uh, when it comes to bidding for vacation. It looks like bidding closes November 16th. So I've got time, I just don't want to forget. So I've got 21 unassigned days uh, of vacation. So what I'm going to do is look at this list. You'll see the number on the left, it says period at the top, period. Uh, and <laughs> on the middle column, it says vacation avail availability, the dates. And on the far right hand side, you'll see uh, where it says available. And so for the, for the week of January 1st through January 7th, there are 24 slots available. And you'll see that right up here on the upper right hand side. Uh, and um, yeah, it looks like uh, the beginning at middle of March, there's 50 weeks available for flood attendants. There's, there's quite quite a variety. So the more flood attendants we have, the better my odds are of getting what I want. So I'm going to go through this list and just look at the list of days, look at the calendar real quick to get an idea of what these are going to look like in terms of like a real schedule. Um, so that's what I do for the first week. All right, so let me pause this. Now on the far right hand side of the screen, you'll see this. And this is what my bid sheet sort of looks like when I'm bidding for a vacation as well. But you'll see the top, it says first. The next tab says second. Whoops. Uh, and the third tab right here says third. Now I get three weeks of vacation. If I had five weeks, there would be five tabs up here, but I only got three weeks only. So this first one, I'm going to go through the weeks that are available here. I'm going to select the ones I want in the order I want them, very much like bidding, and I'm going to put them here. And then after that, the, the weeks I want there first are there, I'm going to bid for my second week. I'm going to do the same thing. Now what I might do, and there's all sorts of ways to approach it. And then the third, I don't need to because under additional bid options, which is in the upper corner here, I believe, yes, so if I click additional bid options, I can click this box which says, I prefer to designate one week as float vacation. And then I'm gonna hit apply. All right, see that red uh, section where it says the 26th of February through the 3rd of March. I'm actually contemplating choosing that as one of my first vacation week options. Not because I have something to do on that that week, but I can make sure to bid so that I work the uh, until the 26th of February. And then whatever that schedule gives me, every day left in that, uh, that vacation week in February, I would get four hours credit per day. And then the next month in March, I could certainly find a schedule that allows me to start working from the 4th on, allowing me to have three days 
uh, mean 12 hours of vacation that month in addition to my scheduled hours. So that's how I'm, I'm thinking about applying one week right there just to give me uh, a maximum chance to make money uh, during those two months. So that's one of my thoughts for my first vacation week. So something I didn't say, see where it says first, that's my first week of vacation. That's what I'm selecting for my bid sheet. Then I have to hit submit bids. Uh, otherwise it won't be submitted. I can always go back and change it and then hit submit bids again to update it. So once I hit submit bids, I can go into the second column and then submit my choices there. Click submit bids no matter what. And every time you hit submit bids, you're gonna see a sheet like this, which will come up and I don't wanna show my company name there. Um, so it'll show up the weeks that I've selected for my options, my bids for my vacation weeks. The third week, as I mentioned, is going to be a float week. So bidding for next year's vacation is pretty much done. I'm going to go back and fine tune it and like, you know, see what really, really works best for me after looking at the calendar and all that stuff. But at least I have a bid in for next year. So it's done. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I did a little shopping today as you saw me pop around. That's my day. That was October 19th Vlogmas, uh, Vlogtober. I'm going to go down and give the cat their evening treats. And then I'm going to make some dinner for myself probably hop online and play some Starfield. Then I'm going to try to go to bed early, er, try to go to bed early because my next trip has a 6 a.m. report time and I kind of want to spend the next couple nights acclimating more to it, an early morning rise. So that's it for the day. Thanks for joining me. Hope you had a great day yourself and I'll see you soon. Fly safe. Bye.